everybody, it's Benny One, and that is right, everybody, as you saw from the thumbnail, it is Mandalorian time, everybody. Season 2 of Mandalorian dropped at midnight last night. I watched it last night, and yeah, it is, it's back, everybody, and it is firing on all cylinders, everybody. This show is picked up right where it left off, losing no steam, everything. Uh, Mando is back. Baby Yoda's back, obviously. Man, holy shit. They they open this episode with an awesome scene with Mando doing what Mando does best. And it's kicking ass and taking names, everybody. I honestly think that Mando, by the time this season's over, he he might be my favorite character in the Star Wars universe. And I know that's a lot to say because... There's been some pretty cool characters in the Star Wars universe. So, um, this obviously continues the adventure with Mando and Baby Yoda. He's trying to um, return, you know, Baby Yoda back to his own kind, Jedi. So, um, he's basically, I mean, Mando's basically looking for Luke for the most part. Even though they didn't specifically say that, but... Luke's basically the only, well, he's not the only Jedi, but he's the one that's basically trying to rebuild the Jedi Order at this point in time after Return of the Jedi. So, so yeah, they're on their adventure, and they end up going back to Tatooine uh, because he's looking for a Mandalorian that is supposedly there, even though he says that there hasn't been a Mandalorian there forever, but everybody says there is, and he stumbles upon... A character that actually is wearing some very, very, very familiar Mandalorian armor. Um, that if you've seen Star Wars, you probably know whose Mandalorian armor it is. I'm not going to say who it is or anything like that. Because I don't want to totally be... Sp I, I, there's going to be minor spoilers. But as far as like story and stuff, I will not be spoiling anything in these Mandalorian episodes. I will not be talking about anything spoilerish, um, because I, I don't want to ruin it for anybody in case you haven't gotten a chance to sit down and watch it and see it yet, but yes, very familiar Mandalorian armor, and he ends up, he's kind of, it kind of has that western, because this show has a little bit of a western vibe to it. This episode for sure had that westerny type vibe to it, which was kind of funny because, not to like, confuse things with Star Trek but the episode of Star Trek from last week kind of had a similar scene in it where they walk into a bar and it's very westerny feeling I just thought that was kind of funny that this first episode of the Mandalorian had that same kind of um scene and everything in it where Mando goes into a bar and he asks about this Mandalorian that's supposedly here and then you know he's kind of considered the sheriff or whatever the guy that has the armor and everything and he like you could see him in the entrance way of the bar and everything it's just like the old westerns and this show is only the this show has always kind of had that westerny vibe to it so but yeah this episode most definitely has that it's like a little westerny styled town in set in tatooine so i mean it's just, it's really cool. It's just really cool. So, and of course, Mando asks him, where'd you get the armor, you know? And he's like, well, I, I found it. I got it from some Jawas, you know? And he basically tells him, well, I'm, I'm taking it back. So, and then they kind of have to deal with this big serpent dragon thingy. And the thing that's really cool that I noticed in this episode was, is this show has done a good job of showing the alien species that were just barely in the Star Wars movies, and in this episode in particular, the Sand People. Like, the first season did a lot for the Sand People, but this episode literally shows them working with the Sand People, and, like, Mando is actually talking to the Sand People, communicating the way they do. And that's the thing, is, like, this show is adding so much depth and more story and more character interaction with these alien species that were just side note little things in the movies. So it's kind of cool that this show is flushing stuff like that out and we're getting more depth into these alien species and characters and stuff that we've known since Star Wars started. So that's what one thing I loved about this episode. And of course the final act of the episode is great with 
them teaming up with the Sam people trying to get rid of this problem that they all have. So, and I will say this, there was something that happened at the end of the episode, like the very, very end of the episode. And if you're a fan of Star Wars, you've watched all the Star Wars movies, there is somebody that was in the end of this episode that you will recognize. And I'm pretty sure I know who he is. I'm not going to say who he is. But I'm pretty sure I know who the hell he is, everybody. So honestly, if I had to rank, score, whatever this episode, I'm I'm honestly going to give this first episode like a 9 out of 10. I thought it was great. They were rocking it. Right out of the gate, rocking it. Lots of good action in it. Some fucking jetpack shit going on. It was just awesomeness. It's just awesome to have the Mandalorian back, everybody. I'm excited. I'm ready for the rest of the season. I've got seven more episodes, everybody. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll be catching you on the two later because I have spoken.